I am ready to sew my third seam. So I'm just going to try to record this and probably fast forward it so that you can see the continuous stitching. Um, hopefully you can see what I'm about to do. Now when I get towards the end of that seam, I'm stopping it, putting the needle down, and I'm going to line up the next block so that I'm going to keep sewing from one block to the next with a little bit of thread in between that will be cut when these are all done. There goes the second one. I think you get the idea, so I'm not going to uh, keep the camera going for the rest of these, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, I have finished my last square. So, I'm going to pull that out. And this is what it looks like. They're all attached. So, now all I need to do is... Just cut these apart. I've got quite the pile of squares here. Ugh. Right here. Good boy. The one great thing about making quilts that I've learned through making these, which I love, is they don't have to be perfect because I am far, far, far from a perfect sewer. Um, these squares, they start out as 18 inch squares and they're going to be cut down to 17 because, you know, the edges don't all match. You know, so once I put the batting and the backing on these, these will all be cut down. And I sew some of these. They'll all be cut down. So, 
there we have the finished square. I mean, that's all I'm doing on these is the three cuts. So these are basically done, and they're ready for the batting and the backing and doing my decorative stitching to quilt them. So that's how you do that. I'm going to press the seam open and put them up on the design wall, and I'll show you what that looks like.